Clemson University. I'm working with a spring snail, um, Floridobia floridana. The hydrobiidae snails, they're quite special because many of them are endemic. Some are found only in one spring in the whole world. Um, and so it's very interesting to kind of look and see um, how they differ in, in their environment and um, how different effects on their environment can influence themselves. Now my spring snail, Floridobia floridana, it's a bit more widespread. It's found throughout the northern half of the peninsula. They're a kind of an indicator species. If something goes wrong in the spring, say water levels drop off, um, new minerals or pollution is added into the water, there you can kind of indicate that the spring is not functioning properly. I go to Blue Springs here in Orange City. I collect spring snails once a month, once a month at three sites along the spring run up near the boil when temperature is more constant. Um, halfway down where it's a little, it fluctuates a little bit and also um, near where the spring enters the river which temperature can fluctuate quite widely because river water intrudes there affecting the temperature of the spring itself. And so we're looking at the development of the spring snail with, its, with temperature as the factor we're looking at. And so I collect them, um, uh, 100 snails at each site. I bring them back um, here to Stetson and I measure them once a month and make histograms on their life cycle. The laboratory part is a diet study that I've been doing. Uh, Blue Spring is, has been ex experienced an increase in algae, filamentous algae, which is considered a poor quality algae. Two species have been found there, Valsteria and Olingbia. And Olingbia is a blue-green, which is typically a poorer quality than a yellow-green, which is a Valsteria species. I've cultured algae, and then I've collected about 360 snails from Blue Spring. I split them into three treatment groups, one's fed, um, Valsheria, one's fed Lambia, and one's fed a mixture. And so we're seeing um, how these algal diets that they're actually experiencing in Blue Spring now affects their growth rate. And so we found that snails that were fed only a Lambia species had a higher mortality rate, and also they grew significantly less than the other two groups, indicating that the poor quality algae can actually affect the growth rate of snails in Blue Spring. Floridobia floridana and a lot of other hydrobiates, there's very little known about them. I could not find any research done on this spring snail. I just wanted to kind of um, gather some research and publish it so that other people can know a bit more about these hydrobiates. The diet study, um, it's really important because if algae, if the Lingbia algae takes over blue spring or there's just a bunch of poor quality filamentous algae, maybe the population is going to start to decline or they don't reproduce as much or the snails aren't as healthy as they could be. My name is Kaylin Kotman. Um, I'm a biology major and I looked at the effect of diet and temperature on growth and development of the spring snail Floridobia floridana. Learning how to use a compound microscope properly and also how to, um, you know, work with the snail. It's relatively small, um, 2.8 to 3.5 millimeters, so it's kind of hard to learn how to pick it up and not actually crush it. Um, and just long hours learning how to go without sleep sometimes, but it was a blast. It was a blast. Um, it's nice to have an opportunity to just show everybody on campus what you've, looked, what you've worked on for a year. Um, and just have your friends be able to come and look at it. And just anybody who's interested in biology even, uh, just have an opportunity to just learn more about it. Um, well, I'm going to go get a PhD, but before that I'm going to do an internship. Um, I'm not going to do snails or anything. I'm more a plant person now, so I'm leaning more towards like botany or ecology PhD and looking for an internship, possibly working with um, scrub habitat or another Florida native habitat. Stetson University.